Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to take screenshot of your execution. This is one of the very important aspect because taking screenshot going to help you that where execution went wrong. So let's understand how to take screenshots. In order to take screenshots, first of all, I'll create one package here in my test me in Java. And I'm naming that package as screenshots. Click on finish. Inside this package, I'm creating a folder. Yes, one folder. So I'll go to this others. Click on this folder. If you don't see folder option, you can search. So folder, click on next. I'm naming it as screenshots. Finish. Guys, in order to take screenshots, we need to write a method in a base class because I want to use this screenshot for all the classes I want to write. So I don't want to specifically define it in a particular class. That's why I want to share it in a parent class called base class. So I'll go to base class and here I'm going to create one method. So public static static because I want to use it across the classes void let's say name of my method is screenshots i want to pass one value here so i'm writing string file name i want to pass file name from my side so now i will be writing body of the method so first step is we will be using a interface to take the screenshot that is take screen let me put S in a capital letter. So take screen shot. And now we will be converting the driver object, which is driver to screenshot. In order to do so guys, you will be putting it like this. Put this in brackets. And here you will write driver. Driver is the object Driver is my web driver's object reference, and I'm using it with this interface. Now we will close this. And now you can use it methods, guys. This is to convert your driver's object to take screenshot and this. And now we will click on dot get screenshot. This is the method. So screen short as output type dot file we write this code guys to get the output so now let's understand this is my web drivers object reference variable so this line is to convert web driver object to take screenshot so that with the help of this driver can act and take the screenshots. So guys, get screenshot method is used to create the image file. In short, it is used to take the screenshots and output file type should be file. I want output to come in a file format. So the output will come in a file format and in order to handle a file, I will store it in a file type. So I'll write file name, is file assign this that means whatsoever screenshot result will come store it in this particular variable now we need to import this take screenshot so guys if you don't see this import statement that means you're working on the older version of eclipse ide in that case you need to add the dependencies for common ios so apache common ios that dependency you need to add. Once you will add that dependency, you will see the import statement. Same for the output type. You can put your cursor and import it. For file also, I have to put it in capital letters. So dot file. So get screenshot. We'll convert it into this. So this is my complete line. After this, after this, I'm going to use the code to copy this file, which is taken by this get screenshot method to copy that image into my desired location. In order to do so, I will write 
file utils dot copy that means copy this file i'm going to choose this src file means my source file file which is coming from this get screenshot method so here this is stored in this variable so i will replace this with file and now destination file is the file where i will write the location so in order to do so i will simply write this is how you write it new as because this is after this so file file assign new so i'm passing the rest of the stuff here so new file and here i'm going to pass location where i want to store these screenshots so i want to store these screenshots over here i'll right click on it go to properties take this path copy this apply and close and i will put it over here in inverted quotes so this is the location where i want my file to get stored and not only that i also want to append file name so i don't want that screenshot should come with the same name all the time so that i know that this screenshot is coming from this class or this screenshot is coming from some different class so here i'm going to append my variable name here my parameter name that is i'm appending so i will write plus file name and here also i will append plus it should come in a jpg format so dot jpg so this is the complete line and then i'm going to terminate the semicolon so this is my complete line i have you might be thinking it's giving a red line beneath it till now guys you understood whenever we are using files there will be always exception handling feature so i'm going to put this in try catch so i'll say try see the line is not here anymore so after this i'm going to use catch so catch and i want to catch io exception so input output exception let's say e and here you can write e dot print stack trace so let's see if our brackets are closed or not all right now we have created one of the methods to take screenshot now in this method first we are taking the screenshot with the help of get screenshot method in the form of file because it is in the form of file i'm storing it in a class called file with the with the file reference variable here i want to copy the screenshot at my desired operating system location so for that we write file utils dot copy file and first i'm passing my actual file which is coming from the screenshot so from this my file is coming and here i want to store it so if you remember guys the complete syntax to create file at a particular location is file file and this is file reference variable assign new file and you pass the location so method is created now we will be using this method in other class so now i'm going to use this method in my test ng class let's see how we do that in order to do so guys look at this at the rate before method i've used initiate here only you can use your another method called screenshot so let me see what is the name of the method here so name of the method is screenshots so i will be using screenshots here so screen shots it's saying you need to add arguments because the param because we created this method with the parameter and the parameter was string so here i want to pass the file name which i want whenever this test case executes i want the screenshot but i want a particular file name so this is for login so i want whenever they are taking screenshots from login class it should come as login.jpg let's see how it works now so we will run this
So my test cases are executing. I must have screenshots over here. So what we need to do is let's refresh our project. And now let's look into this folder here. So screenshots package I'm having, we'll right click on it, go to properties. Let's go to this location over here. And here we got the screenshot. So this is the screenshot we captured. So this is how you can incorporate screenshot with every test case. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.